Hi YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Welcome to Boots on the Ground. If you have anything you could offer, send it to Southern Prepper One. Southern Prepper One, just number one at yahoo.com. Um, I've received uh, two urgent prayer requests. Um, one is for uh, three siblings that are very, very sick, not getting the care they need. Uh, one is for another uh, child uh, that is very sick. So if you could remember these four uh, little ones, uh, they definitely need uh, some relief and some answers. I know their parents are very concerned and then their loved ones. So please pray for these little guys and gals. Let's get right into it. Every Monday, I go to my bank in Southern California and take out a few hundred in cash. Today, I think I witnessed a run. The bank, which is normally not crowded at all, was packed. All four ATMs had lines. The tellers were busy. The lines of people was out the door. A man at one of the tellers was loudly saying he wanted his money. This scene was the first for me. It was weird. Um, anyone else seen something like this? My doctor gave me a prescription for Tamiflu, and our local pharmacist said they've been out for weeks and most likely will not be able to get this. Uh, this is a rural area of Montana, west uh, in the Rockies. Uh, this surprised us. Uh, this is the first time we've had the, uh, not the ability to get our prescription filled. This person says, the wife and I traveled through the middle of nowhere in RV. Um, uh, had to take uh, uh, our cat that had serious constipation to the emergency vet in a small town while they were traveling. He had us leave her overnight and we were thinking three, four hundred dollars. Wrong. One thousand um, dollars. Found out after the fact he has a two star review and his license have been revoked a couple of times. Please do your homework. Uh, thousand dollars whoo hello uh, this is outside the greater Seattle area echoing the view viewers in eastern Washington State we received mail only three times in the last two weeks the local post office doesn't have enough employees to answer the phone and the 1-800 number robot uh, warns of possibly being on hold for nearly an hour we ended up leaving the reason via nextdoor.com our mailman has quit and no one is responding to the help wanted sign of the post office window also on net next door someone mentioned that the dollar store um, which should be renamed the dollar 25 store has been very busy lately although she was encouraged encouraged that we can save lots of money by shopping there in reality it is a sign that money is getting tight I've been lucky enough here in Houston so far not to see much shortages except for a random few things here and there. But last week when I went to Costco, there was no eggs, zero. I was shocked by this because I knew the eggs were a short supply in other stores, but this is the first time I've seen Costco having an empty area. Then went out uh, onto a few websites for local farms that I purchased other things from to check their egg level and found out every single farm listed was out of stock for eggs as well. After inquiring with a few of the prepping Facebook groups I'm part of um, and maybe because of the cooler temperatures and not enough sun that the chickens aren't producing as much. But the weather has not been cold here. In fact, it's been extremely warm lately, so that doesn't make any sense. The only other option someone suggested was the avian flu and that they slaughtered chickens uh, in huge numbers. I'm a believer that this is planned and will keep going this way for the next few years at least. Definitely the avian flu uh, or more like the culling of any chicken that they say has avian flu. Also, a different note, we went to get a Christmas tree this weekend and there was practically none. At the first tree farm we went to, um, nothing. We went to Lowe's and there was a lot of dead trees and also not many, but we picked the best one we could find. I don't know why the lower amount of trees. Another person that was looking said they've been to another tree farm and it had already closed for the season. Just another weird thing. We have been using the same pharmacy for years and getting the same prescription. This week, for the first time ever, not all our regular meds were in stock, and the pharmacy had to ration a few to each customer and tell them they would call them back when their supplies arrived. And this is not amoxicillin, it was something else. I do most of my shopping uh, in northern Kentucky, where I am. For the most part, food items are stocked, plenty of eggs and butter, so some items may be out periodically. Cold and flu medicine has been wiped out. Seems like the most expensive items are left. Most shelves are empty. Less expensive dry cat food completely wiped out. Cat litter very low. Pictures of the cat aisle at Kroger was attached. Uh, just decimated. <laughs> um, 
inhaled respiratory medicine is an issue. I usually get a certain medicine, no problems for about five dollars. Um, now my pharmacy quoted me $183.18 uh, for this, uh, and I can't even get either of them. So definitely pharmacies are not having what they need. It, it's just mind blowing that inside this country, um, you would have thought three or four years ago, this would never have happened, but it is happening. I just got this update from my daughter who lives in Germany. Uh, an update on the whole blackout. Germany has power issues and whatever other stories may be currently floating around. So far, we didn't have a single blackout, not even a localized power. Um, so right now, they're not having any problems. They said that there might be some 90-minute rolling blackouts. Uh, but a lot of people said they were going to have massive blackouts and massive problems in Germany, and it's not showing up yet. I hope people are wary of all the email scams about winning awesome prizes. Um, this lady or this person says they get about 15 every day. So yes, if it's somebody's trying to give you something for free, it's probably a scam. Also, in Scotland, Scottish government said uh, they had to cull over th almost 300,000 chickens. They've either died of the bird flu or have been culled. So this thing is happening everywhere. Egg shortages are probably going to get bad everywhere because every country will probably be trying to get as many chickens to restock the animal or the birds that were culled out. Inflation doesn't stop pregnancy cravings. I've listened for a while now and have never written in until now. We just found out we're expecting our second baby. And when the baby demands Wendy's, they don't care what the price is. I was absolutely shocked that Dave's single with fries, no drink, was $10.75. Did it taste delicious? Yes. But the price is outrageous. Someone tell this baby we can't do that again. Here's my report from Hanover County, Virginia. I usually get chicken feed at my local feed and seed store. I pay $13 for a 50 pound bag. This morning I went to get 12 bags and when I went to pay, my order was over $200. When I asked, they told me the bags were now $16. So from 13 to 16, I wasn't able to get all the feed I wanted and this week I'm gonna to have to kill all my turkeys and roosters. Wasn't planning to do so until February, but now with the feed going up, I cannot afford to feed them any longer. This is a uh, update. We did a grid down simulation today. Granted, I'm basically the only one in my household that knows the system of our home and, and how to run the gas generator. Well, have to say my family didn't know how to start the generator, how to run electric cords from the generator to the appliance, etc. Well, they got a crash course um, and that was great. Um, so they're trying to make sure everyone in the house knows how to do things in case the primary person that runs the show isn't there uh, and he's urging everyone make sure everyone in the household knows how to use the equipment cross train everyone after seeing the constant rise of prices concerning pet food and the lack of availability of the kind that my pet prefers, I have decided to start making my own homemade dog food. It's actually much better for them as they don't get all the preservatives and byproducts. And it's easy to put in a slow cooker in the morning and have it done in the evening. There are many recipes available online. My dog likes the white rice, ground turkey, cut up sweet potatoes or pumpkin, and sometimes I will add white beans for fiber. They absolutely love it, and I feel much be better giving it to them. Recently, on one of your shows, you referenced the tax on Kentucky Utility starting in 2023. This tax is only on residents who have multiple residencies in Kentucky. Uh, it will be on the resident that is not their primary home. I do believe you still need to fill out that form um, and to declare your meter is your only and primary residence. If not, from what I read, it could be tax. It's a little confusing. Uh, yeah, I'm totally confused and I don't live there. So check into it. If you're in Kentucky, check into this, making sure you don't get any taxes on your utility bills. This past weekend, my husband and I flew United from California to Missouri for his company Christmas party. We had two flights to get there and two flights to get back. We traveled through Denver both times. First leg, the plane turned around at the run runway due to a maintenance light coming on. Repair took about 15 minutes. Second leg, flight was delayed due to no power to the plane. We had to change planes as they couldn't get it repaired. 
Um, and then they were at, I guess, uh, Missouri. And they said, breathe freedom for a few days and loved it. Well, now they have to return home. First leg of their return trip, no issues. Second leg, flight delayed three hours before the plane had a fluid leak. Then a change of gate, new plane, and a flight schedule a half hour earlier than originally de de delayed. We boarded and sat in a hot plane for a while. Plane had no air because they were hooked to shore power. Later, an announcement came they were trying to locate a crew. Finally, we were told to deplane if no pilot available. We deplaned and walked out uh, onto an ongoing flight between a fight between two men that had turned physical. We stayed until the police and security arrived, just in case someone vulnerable needed protecting. Had our gates changed yet again and finally boarded a working plane almost four hours after the original scheduled departure. Um, no issues on the final flight. Expect the unexpected if you fly anywhere this season. A lot of people say yes. You never know if, what's going to happen with your plane. Um, hello, I've been a listener for 10 years. When I first saw a video of yours, I was 12 at the time, and I thought you were crazy and paranoid. Now here I am, 22 years of age and doing great on my preps. To start this email off, before I get into my Maryland update, I'd like to give you a confession on something I did this morning. I live in downtown Baltimore City, and there was a truck uh, outside that was hauling junk in the area. Well, last night I saw the wine cooler or fridge in the back of the bed along with other garbage. At my first thought is, oh no, I know that all that is wrong with it is probably it's running low on refrigerant. So I debated grabbing it out of the back of the truck to fix it and sell as the real thing retails for about $2,000 brand new and it was cosmetically perfect. Well, I decided in my mind that I wanted to live in a community that doesn't have other people taking stuff out of the back of trucks. So therefore, I put a note on the windshield saying I would buy it for $40 to give me a call. Well, this morning, uh, well, in the morning time and on my way to get in my car, I see the note had blown off with the wind and here's when the confession starts. In a moment of stupidity, I stole the rightful property of one of my neighbors and started to drive to work. I was arguing with myself that the guy was going to throw it away anyways and that I didn't actually steal anything. Well, the better side of me won the internal conflict and I drove 30 minutes back to his truck and put the cooler back into his truck and put a new note saying, I will pay $60 and this time taped it to his window. As soon as I got back to work, I got a call from the guy telling me that of course it was indeed trash and who would happy to sell it to me for $60. I felt so dirty knowing that I was capable of stealing something that was not mine just because I was t I told myself it was garbage. I forgave myself as I did, ended up returning it and did the right thing in the end, but this was a test like no other in my life and I need to share it with you. So maybe if you feel it was appropriate, you could share it with your viewers and maybe someone can use my mistake as a learning experience and not to do what I did. I'm currently fixing it up this morning and this whole experience had brought me closer to God as I feel like it was a test of my will. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, and basically an update, uh, Costco has a limit of the eggs in his area. Um, let's get right into the mailman. A lot of people have sent me things about mailmen or male women in their area. I have a great mailman in my neighborhood. Uh, he listens to Christian books on tape as he makes delivery and he's super nice. But back in August, he got COVID, was out for a month. The substitute was awful. He lost three packages and one never recovered. Unfortunately, whoever it was delivered to was dishonest and kept it. Packages were delivered to other streets. I can see maybe a wrong house, but an entire street is ridiculous. Uh, and they go on and on. Yes, good help, even for the post office, is hard to find. A little over a week ago, my dad had a stroke and was rushed to the hospital. This is a big Catholic-based hospital in St. Louis. The doctor told us right away that he would not make it, and he passed away four days after admission. My side of the family is Christian, but my husband is Catholic, and he asked me, asked for a priest to pray over my dad, which was fine with us. For three days, we asked for a priest in a Catholic hospital and could not get one. We finally asked one of the chaplains who came to pray every day. and He told us there is a severe priest shortage in a hospital with well over a thousand beds. They only had two priests and one of them is over 80 years old. Um, so quite a few Catholic patients do not get last rites unless their own priest can get there. Just interesting to know. 
I live in Northeast Ohio and have noticed an increased amount of businesses and now a restaurant that charges more if you pay using the credit card or debit card. Some of these businesses will post a note at the register, um, but a few just charge the extra and never mention it. So the point is cash is king. Make sure you have some cash on hand in case you come across a business to, so you can save it. Uh, I think normally around here I've been seeing 3%. This person said, I stopped at Spinks in Greenville, South Carolina to get gas. All I had was a $100 bill. The clerk said Spinks are not supposed to take $100 bills. She seemed very frustrated and got the manager. She eventually took it, but Spinks are not supposed to take $100 bill. This person is in West Des Moines, um, Iowa. And feeling we are largely insulated from many issues affecting the rest of the country. Within a couple of miles of me, several global financial companies have corporate or divisional headquarters. Uh, this is what I see. Gas prices started dropping this week before Thanksgiving and continue to slowly decline. Um, last weekend, I went to a local mall, mostly upscale store, to see how it was doing. The parking lot was full and it took a while to find a parking space. Inside, people were definitely buying and spending money. Stores here are generally well stocked. I've seen some items have shortages and outages in grocery stores, uh, but those are resolved in a couple of days. Definitely eggs are more expensive, over $4. A gallon of milk has though dropped from $4.09 to $4.19, uh, and it used to be like $5, and it depends on the store. Restaurants have gotten expensive, but they don't seem to have stopped many people from going out to eat. Most places have steady businesses. Also, many higher-end restaurants have waiting lists of applicants for openings, especially for servers. Um, lots of commercial construction occurring, as well as apartments. Overall, with the exception of higher prices and occasional shortages on some items, the situation here doesn't seem so bad. That is awesome. Just hung up a phone with a friend from Duncan, South Carolina. His credit card was hacked and the issuing bank says they can't give him an ETN the replacement card because of a chip and plastic shortages for credit cards. Also a friend in Greenville, South Carolina was told by Duke last week, and that's Duke Power, that it may take six months before a transformer can be installed on their property. property. Needless to say, this will be a huge delay in their project. I want to mention that I've heard that a lot of people are using their credit cards to cover their expenses with the inflation. The last credit card bill I got had a balance of $84 and the minimum payment was $40, which seems high. I always pay the full amount each month, but the fine print on the bill says if the payment is received late, they can increase the interest rate to listen to this 29.99. So basically 30% interest with the problems we're having with mail delivery. People need to be warned. Um, and see if their companies are doing the same. This could be a major increase in debt. I'm in Citrus County, Florida. We stopped at the Circle K. They were completely out of gas. The worker said that five of the local Circle Ks were out of gas. Uh, they couldn't get it delivered. She didn't know when they would have some. She finished by saying the world is coming to an end. We went to the grocery store yesterday. We didn't need much, so we just went to the local Save-A-Lot and said that all these, all these we normally go to, they had donation bags that you could purchase with some staples in them like canned vegetables, instant potatoes and stuffing, etc. And while this has been a tough year for us compared to previous years, we bought several of them to donate to local families. It wasn't much, but we're doing what we can. Community is the key to the coming times. In, in addition to this, we live in a rural area, and there was an attempted break-in. The homeowner shot and killed the intruder, who was from another county. It's starting to spill out into our area, so heads on a swivel. Um, crime is definitely getting worse. Please be careful. This one shocked me. Um, basically, they buy a calendar they purchase every year for gifts, um, and it went from $15 to $20. So it went up $5. Um, the increase is not for anything important, but just put a chill up and down my spine just because this was, I guess, 25% increase on a calendar. So there you go. There's some boots on the ground. Take any of this information, use it, finalize your preps, increase your preps, and most important, develop relationships. Um, if you haven't talked to a family member in a while or a friend, pick up that phone rekindle relationships. You're going to need them uh, in these troubling times. Thanks for watching.